Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com so we continue to watch, which has been a fairly quiet season so far. Interesting to look at some of these numbers because this year uh, we're ranking third for that quiet stretch. It's been 47 days since we have had a tropical or a named tropical system. Now, big question is, is that going to change here over the next couple of days? We've been watching this one area down in the Bay of Campeche, which is starting to look a bit more impressive. But just to kind of give you an idea, we have had some pretty big stretches back in 1999. We actually went 61 days be between name system. This list going all the way back to 1995 when they started keeping track of those kinds of records. So here's that view over the Gulf of Mexico. We've been watching this. Remember, it worked its way over Central America, over the Yucatan. And we were talking about once it moved into the Bay of Campeche, conditions were favorable. We had warm water. We had light wind shear and really uh, very good conditions to see something developing down in this area. And that is exactly what we are seeing now. You can see that big area of convection, broad area of low pressure, hurricane reconnaissance plane. They're going to be flying out to this this afternoon to get a much better look at this to see if indeed we have a tropical depression or just how close we are because it does look like we could be talking about a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm before all is said and done. Right now, putting about a 60% chance of additional development, which makes sense at this point. It is looking pretty impressive on satellite, and, and really all the conditions are there that we're going to see additional development with this. So this could become a tropical depression sometime later today into tonight. If not, then very likely over the weekend. But remember, just a tropical depression, that's just a number. It doesn't get a name until it becomes a tropical storm. Really, the biggest impact is going to be a lot of rain across southern Texas as we go through the weekend. So you look at the Fox model, what we're looking at is at Winfield, and you are seeing some stronger winds. Not a very well-organized system, but that's very typical of those tropical depressions. But it does look like, if, according to the Fox model, we could be looking at those winds right around tropical storm force as we get into Saturday, just prior to this making landfall and spreading some of those rains across southern Texas. Also looking well out into the Atlantic because it's been very quiet. These are the areas that we watch this time of the year heading towards that peak of the hurricane season. This is the European model as we head towards the end of next week. So obviously we're talking a long, long ways off. You're seeing just these large tropical waves, these broad areas of low pressure working their way off the coastline. So just that little sign that we continue to see with both the GFS and the European as we head into next week and heading right toward the end of August, we're going to start to see a bit more activity with these waves moving off the coast of Africa, and it looks like they'll kind of hold themselves together as well. So will one of those develop as we head over the next 10 days? We're going to have to wait and see, but there are those signs things are going to start to get a little more active in the tropics. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.